Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to the virtual party. Hey, hey, I didn't, I didn't know about Simon. He's not that consistent. You know, he wrote a book about the consistency pill. I don't even know if this book is any good. But, hey, you know what? I told you he's not that good because it's his consistency pill party, and he's not even on here. So listen, hey, just, so what about this? Where's Simon? You see, he's Mr. Consistency, but where is he? he? Where is he on his own party? Where is he? Hey, drop me in the comment where you're from. I'm in Los Angeles. He, I don't know where Simon is. He's not here today. You know, he thinks he's so cool. He wears a little hat, and he thinks, oh, man, he's consistent. Hey, I know about you, but welcome to my party. I'm taking over. I'm running the party today. It's not Simon's party. I want to talk about it. Who's Simon? Anyway, all right, guys. Welcome, welcome. This is, uh, uh, you know, I can actually make this hair go like this. I don't know what Simon is, but this is going to be my party instead. What's up, Laurie? What's up, Terry? You like my hair. I you know Simon should grow his hair like this, too. All right. Okay. Oh, uh, anyway, good to see you all here. Oh. Blah, 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 blah. All right. <laughs> I just wanted to have some fun. Anyway, good to see you. Oh, yeah, drop in the comment. Was that funny or not? By the way, I don't really like these wigs, but uh, it was uh, – I appreciate you all for being here. I say we figure we got to start out and have some fun with the wig, right? <clears throat> I think I eat choke up on some of my hair here. Anyway, good to see everyone here at today's party. What do you all want to learn? I know we got gift cards. We got stuff going on. The book just came out. A lot of you got it already. If you haven't, drop in uh, – Book bonuses in the comments. I know some of you, the book is out, out of stock already, but you can get the audio book. Get the book, upload the receipt, and you get the audio book and start working on it, all right? Oh, but anyway, I think I got <clears throat> some of the wig hair on my throat. So today's party, I'll share something with you. Uh, hey, Jasmine, good to see you here. The real Janet, Rosser, good to see you. Jay July, great, great to see you here. Joe, good to see you, my friend. Lori, uh, well, Abiola from Nigeria. I think I still got the wig here. Oh, my goodness coming off. All right. So what do you all want to do? I think we want to do something different. Maybe show some pictures. Uh, I'll share something. I'll be very vulnerable and transparent to you all. Right. Is, uh, and by the way, drop in comments because we'll be giving out these, uh, I've got iTunes gift cards to give out. Okay. We've got, uh, some, these new cheat sheets sent out. We also have, what do we have here on the note here? Um, a scholarship to purpose driven networkers. Also, a one-on-one -on -one coaching call. Okay, these are all like uh, something I charge my coaching uh, coaching clients. Um, BYB workshop tickets here. Give me out. So, hey, drop in a comment. We'll select the winners uh, every 10 minutes or so. But I'll, I'll share something vulnerable and transparent. I am probably, uh, Jasmine, thank you for ordering. I am definitely the most boring person in the world. Okay, I am boring, boring, boring. And uh, I'm definitely not very fun. In fact, in, in, uh, I was building my business. Uh, every every time I am uh, I am uh, do some fun events, no one wants to show up because the Simon's like not cool. So I actually had one of my leaders, he was a party animal. Uh, it took me four months, by the way, to get him into the business, and uh, he actually became a uh, seven figure and a million dollar club member. Okay, the business it took me four months to follow up. You have to be consistent following up, following up. But you get an autographed copy of the book. Um, message me directly. I'll show you maybe details. I can do that. Danielle, I appreciate you. What do you all want to learn and figure out? Okay, aside from watching me wear this hair, which I actually <clears throat> not going to do. Uh, by the way, we have another surprise visitor. If you want to show up at the party at 3 p.m. Eastern, which is 12 uh, later on, nine hours from now, a different surprise visitor on the show. You know, let, let me talk about the book first, why I wrote this book, okay? Why I wrote this. Uh, and, you know, I've been in profession since. I'll show you some old pictures. How does this? Hold on. I'm going to share an old picture of me. Let's see. Um, let me share my screen here. Hold on. An old picture of me. I was digging something up. Here we go. Uh, let's see. You want to see my screen here? ML Nation. You see that? Sweet. So here is... Uh, this was me back in to this is the leader I was. Okay. Maybe some of you joined since I touched off the hair. This was me back in 2004 when I just got started in my business. 
Do that. Then I look very sexy. You like that? The long hair. Hey, give me a one to ten. What do you think of that hair? One to ten. Uh, you know what? How about some music? What type of music do you want me to play? Someone type first person types in the comments. I see on the comments here on the stream yard or on Instagram. First type first person types in the comments. I'll play your song. Any song requests here? I used to think I, I used to think I was a good DJ, but uh, not really. Okay, an eight on the hair. A C D C. Hey, you are. A, hey, that's my song here. Here we go. A C D C. Definitely, I got some ACDC going on. All right. Hey, by the way, I'm always, I still share. I still uh, get nervous before I speak. And um, every time before I speak, you know, and, and here's something to help you out. You can't get rid of fear. Sometimes you feel like, I can't get rid of, I wish I can get rid of fear. You can't get rid of fear. I've, I've been convinced after being 19 years as an entrepreneur, you cannot get rid of fear. But what you can do is act in spite of fear. So every time, you know, before I get started, uh, speaking, I get nervous. I just play the song and I get it fires me up. If that fires me up. And I'm like, go, 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 go. Let's bring it up. Anyway, that's my song, right? Um, ACDC, I, mean, I still remember. I appreciate you all. Okay, comment there uh, on, on the IG Live. So, hey, for those who, um, let me see if I put this camera here for you. For those on Instagram here. That is the, here. All right. So, um, but actually, when I first started out there, I'll share something with you. I wanted to be, some of you who said I rocked the hair, I actually, one of my multiple streams of income. Let me share, talk about that consistency. Multiple streams of income. I want to do multiple streams of income, and I want to do real estate. I want to do stocks. Uh, and how do you reward yourself for small wins? I'm going to answer that question. Okay. Uh, so I want to do multiple streams of income. And actually, one of the streams of income, I actually never really shared this, okay, uh, is um, I want to be a model because I was so sexy. I was going to be a model and I'm going to have an income because I live in Los Angeles. You know, I'm shy, quiet. I think I'm shy, quiet. I definitely can't speak. But I was, uh, my good looks and my sexy long hair, I'm going to be a model. You know, I'm going to work out. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to do network marketing. I'm going to do uh, um, stocks as well. I'm going to do some real estate investing. And I tell you, I was terrible in all of them. The key to success is the focusing on one thing. And uh, you know, I struggled for months. You, a lot of you know my story. I didn't make much money in network marketing. I struggled for months. I didn't make any money being a model. No, I didn't make any money in stocks. I only lost money in stocks. Real estate, I didn't make any money. At all. I spent. I invested. You know, you know I invested. Uh, five grand in the course, which taught me what you do. Valuable lesson that course was it's you have to take action. I thought, take this course, I'll be good, but I didn't learn anything about that. All right, I didn't learn so, but the, the network it allowed me to meet some people that really helped me out later on. But the I invested in that course, nothing I learned. The lesson was you got to focus, and in many ways, network marketing is the easiest way. Hey, drop in a comment and love it if you believe network marketing is the best way, the easiest and the best way. For the average person to get started, okay. And I got started with that, and uh, and I have big dreams. You know, I tell you, you can do a lot of different things, but not everything at once. You do one thing at a time, right? And so I figured, wait, I, I I finally had a mentor. She changed me. I started having some success. I realized, hey, this is way easier than me a model. I don't need to drive around. I just and I was shy, quiet. I didn't go out, out go out and meet people. I lived in L.A. Most of my friends lived in New York. So what I did was I ended up going to uh, build online back in 2000, early 2004, start building on the internet way before. Hey, Jenny, my friend, I started building on the internet and uh, started using Overture, Yahoo Overture, ICQ forums. How many of you remember those ICQ forums? Some of you may not even been born there, right? Born back then. And uh, then what else do we have? Um... Uh, AOL instant messaging, all that stuff, Yahoo Overture, Google AdSense, you know. Anyway, I started building online. I realized network marketing is the easiest way. Okay? Very easy to build a following as long as you focus on providing value and giving. giving. If you want to increase your influence, you got to give value. All right. Anyway, we are going to do our first prize right now. We're going to do one of these iTunes gift cards. Why do you iTunes gift cards? Because in the book, one of the components, okay, we're talking about seven components. Uh, component number one is the checklist, right? If this component number two is 
a creative schedule at a time. Component number three is have a strategy. Component number four is the environment, right? And one of the components, component number six, is a toolbox. And you got to have tools. One of my favorite tools is calendar. Calendar is a big part of it. And uh, the time tr uh, calendar, a timer, is very, very important. And then an app with streaks. Hold on. Wait, next song coming up. Joe, did you request? Oh, no. Carmen, I know you like this song too. Um, streaks app. This is one of the best apps in keeping a streak. By the way, I have like a sugar addiction. I I've never taken any drug in my life. Never taken any drugs. But sugar is probably my ice cream is probably my drug. Once I start taking ice cream, I cannot stop ice cream or, or chocolates. Okay. I always, I cannot stop. And one of the things that uh, helped me out was this app called Streak, which is key, uh, you keep track of how many days. So, anyway, on the Streak app, uh, I, should, I wish I could show you this on my other phone here, is over 104 days now without the uh, sticking sugar. Anyway, those are apps you can get for eternity. Another great app tracks keeps track of time uh, i actually you know just like some people you talk about if you want to save money you track all your expenses where you're spending your money i track down every minute of what i'm doing i track down every second of how much time i'm spending on the book every second i'm creating content every second okay so that's been a big big help keeping me stay focused but sometimes you have days where you uh you think you're doing a lot but you're actually not doing much right and that is so it's helpful to know you actually track so last week i, thought I worked a lot we look at a track didn't know anything. Anyway, Streets app, Eternity app, yes. So gift card. So we're going to do this thing, if you see the screen. Um, I'm going to choose, well, first winner, we're going to choose it from, let's go right onto the Facebook, uh, the, the, the comments here that's popping up, okay? Let me let you see we're on YouTube. We are live on YouTube as well, okay? So I want to make sure I cover our YouTube, give our YouTube viewers some love. Here, uh, let me just make sure volume's off. All right, okay. So first, first person on the face on you are watching on Facebook. I have a, I Google something. By the way, if you ever don't know anything to do, just Google it, right? Be um, be what you call it, uh, independent. Sometimes you may not know the answer to everything, but Google has a lot of answer for a lot of things. Okay, uh, random number generator. This is what we'll do. Random. Per, I'm going to choose a comment. Okay. The random. And I'm going to message you afterwards. We have the maximum of 100. The random. Your comment. So start, hey, start commenting right now. And Instagram, I'll get you afterwards. Start commenting. The more comments you have, the more you'll generate. Okay. So I'm going to generate this. And the random comment, we'll choose 1,000 comments here. And when I hit, it'll generate the number. And that will be the winner. Actually, now I'm going to do 100 right now. So, so it's almost like a drawing, right? The more comments you have, the more you draw. And I'll hopefully you can see on my screen. Can you all see my screen here? You want to see my screen, right? Here we go. Ready? No, oh, you're dropping comment number 55. Here we go. 65. Comment number 65. I'm going to write this down. Is the first winner. You're going to get one of these uh, $10 gift cards. Okay, so number 65. All right. And now it's going to be at the end of the feed. I'll count the comments. All right, um, and you keep commenting. You know what I'm going to do? How about this? Let's have fun. I never, I'm going to do another one. Another one. This will be a membership, a lifetime membership to Purpose Driven Networkers. It's a $250 value. If you want to go become a member, a lot of we have a lot of PDM members here, right? How many of you are PDM members? Type in PDN in the comments. PDN. PDN in the comments. We've got a lot of PDM members here. If you're not Purpose Driven Networkers, you always be part of the community. But I'm going to give a lifetime Membership is worth two hundred fifty dollars. Okay, if you want to be a member, you can join. Or we can pick the winner. Here we go. And by the way, we'll get these winners. Uh, I'll calculate the comments after the feed. Give me twenty four hours to do that. Here we go. I'm a Jasmine, a PDN member. Emily. All right, here we go. PDN member. Hey, you want to win? Get your friends on here. Tag your friend. If you tag a friend, that counts as a comment, right? Here we go. Random generator. A thousand. Number 673, if you have comment 673, that is a lifetime membership to Purpose Driven Networkers, $250 value. Congratulations. All right. Okay. Those are our first two winners. And we got other prizes here. Uh, we got a one-on-one -on -one coaching call coming up. We got a workshop. We're doing a consistency workshop. That's a $47 value coming up in the end of the month. 
coming up here. Uh, more gift cards. Got a lot of these other gift cards to get. Okay. Got one down. Here we go. All right. Let's uh, let's go back to uh, – yeah, I'm a very boring person, okay? But the key is, you know, sometimes boring is good, staying focused on one thing, right? You can do – I think one of my mentors taught me was you can do many, many things in life, but only one thing at a time, right? You can do – say, focus on your business for the next five years, and then after five years, you can do something else. For me, by the way, I'll be fully transparent. I never – people ask me, why do I do coaching? I never wanted to uh, – hold on. Let me just turn – you all hear the music? You like the music here? Tunes? Hey, you have music requests? I'll take music requests. I never really wanted to, uh, to be a lifetime network marketer. Never. But network marketing was just one stream of income for me. One stream. Okay? One stream of income. And afterwards, I would do something else. I was going to do – after I decided uh, the multiple streams of income, I couldn't do all at once. I would do – focus on network marketing and do something else. And what ended up happening was uh, – you all can hear me, right? Let me just put the mic in closer. It's a little squeaky noise. Okay, maybe you hear me better into the music. I just want to make sure you all can hear me. So what happened was um, I wanted to do something else, but I just love the profession, love network marketing, and ended up doing it for uh, over 10 years, 10 years. And then I can't believe it's been nine years since I became a full-time trainer. All right. All right. Um, someone asked me about question. Um uh, What's the question here? Uh, let's see. Oh, the timer. Why do you need a timer, right? Terry, as a timer. Timer is so important, right? Because our DNA, our, our DNA, we're not talking about the entrepreneur, our DNA, right? Our D, like, for example, humans, we have emotions. Our DNA is also, we're lazy. Our caveman, cavewoman DNA, we're lazy. Sean, good to see you here. We're lazy. I mean, maybe not cave woman, but caveman, definitely lazy. Meaning that when back in the day, we were sleeping, just like, you know, sometimes we just uh, want to watch TV and vegetate, right? The caveman was the same way. Was sleeping in his hammock all day. And then they'll wake up. The only time they wake up is number one, uh, they were hungry. Oh, we got to go find something to eat. Uh, number two, a tiger came and we were running. Or number three, Someone was stealing our woman. We want to fight. That's not my woman. Anyway, your women are way better than men. But that's how, how we are. But on, on serious note, how many of you sometimes go check your phone? Let's go. Let's go reply back to some messages. And we, uh, you know, reply back. Spend all the time. And this, you know, one hour has gone by. You haven't done much. Drop in a one. You feel that? Wait. Hey, by the way, get comments. We're going to do a next drawing coming up in the next few more minutes. Right? That happens. Right. And then, or sometimes you feel like I'm going to do a social media post. And because you are the professionist, you keep on making a nice filters. And one hour's passed, you've done one post. You haven't done anything else. Right. The, the important thing is you have to go out there and get more done. So use the timer. See, I'll give you an example of a timer. How many of you back in school, when you're in school, remember you're back in school, um, term papers? Oh, term paper. Troy Anderson, I appreciate it. Term papers? Term papers are terrible. When did you do your term paper? Terry, when did you write your paper? When did you write your term paper? Troy Anderson, when did you write your paper? Jasmine, when did you write? Tara Lynn, when did you write your term papers? If you're like me, hey, I will write them uh, the morning of, not even the night before. The morning of. The morning of, I'll be like, oh, my goodness. I'm uh, about right, 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 right. I'll get it done, right? Last minute, and I'll be so stressed. I'm like, I'm never going to do this again. Never, never doing this again. Next time, I'm going to write a one month in advance. So one, one month in advance, I'm sitting in the library, getting ready. And guess what? What happens? I'm sitting there. And I write, write one word, one sentence. It takes me one hour to write one sentence. But you know what? The night before, morning up, you're so good at it, right? That pressure, that's timing. Right? I mean, how many of you are football fans, NFL fans? Football fans, right? And football, football. It's like um, sometimes you see teams, they don't score at all. All of a sudden, the last fourth quarter, especially in college, they score, score, score. I, it happens more in college football than NFL. I think maybe because it's college football students, they like stu college athletes. They're still students. They, they're used to writing the papers last minute. They score their touchdowns the last minute, too. Anyway, that's a, that was a terrible joke. Um, you know what? I used to – I'm sorry for the creaking microphone. I used to think that uh, – I used – 
I was not funny. I actually bought a book, How to Be Funny. How to Be Funny. I sent you somewhere there. One of the first books I read, How to Be Funny, because you got to have a personality. Anyway, um, let's time for another drawing. How about that? You ready? We're going to get back the common generator here. We want you to random comment here. And this time, let's give out. What are we giving? Where are we giving out here? Um, how about BYOB workshop? A workshop here. This is a $25 workshop. Our next social media workshop will be in August. Okay. Hey, if you want to register for it, go to bwobbyworkshop.com. Or, hey, go and uh, you can win. drop in a comment. Here we go. We, we have a lot of comments here. 787. We are going to go to put a 1,000 again. Hey, Instagram. You know, we're going to choose Instagram this time. You're on Instagram. We'll choose one. How about this? We'll give one on Instagram and one on – I'm going to write this down. IG. And one on uh, Facebook and YouTube. Okay, here we go. Drop in a comment and I will. Uh... Here we go. We'll draw two. No. So on Instagram, I think we have less, less people on Instagram who do 200 comments. So comment more, tag some on Instagram. Here we go. Instagram winner for $25 BYB workshop. Comment number 19. So that congrats. Okay, and I would look go through this at the end of this. I end this party. I'll choose the winners. You hear from me in the next twenty four hours. All right, for those on Facebook, here we go. For a lot, the more you comment, the more you have chance to win. Here we go. BYB workshop three sixty five. All right, so we actually give given a, a iTunes gift card here. Is the, is the comment number sixty five? All right, hey. Um, Let's see. What else do you want to know? What is something interesting here? Are you guys having fun in this party? Tell me yes. This is my first time. I tell you, I always share this, right? One of the secrets to success is to get outside your comfort zone, right? And uh, so this is totally outside my comfort zone. This is the first time I've ever done a virtual party. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just like, I'm going to have fun. Give our prizes. Talk to you all, right? You got to want to ask us, share stories. Hey, by the way, collect stories. Collect story. Every one of you, you know, Terry, you have a great story. Laura, you have great stories. Troy, you have good stories in you, right? Share those stories. That's part of your content. That the more you share, the better you get. You know, people buy stories. Carolyn, share stories. Look at parts of your life, embarrassing moments, share them. Like when I used to uh, have um, bad hair or crazy hair, uh, share stories. You know, here's another thing I want to share with you. Let's see. Hold on. I am going to. Uh, I'll share about prospecting, okay, how it worked. I picked up this in uh, Malaysia, Malaysia. Uh, this was Malaysia, Daniel Tan, Malaysia. This was, I had a, for those who don't know, I had an apartment in Malaysia for two years, uh, two and a half years. I started off in Amkot Mall for there for like one year. And that was one of the toughest times in my life. A uh, company could not open up, company couldn't get a license, and I was there and didn't know what the heck I was doing. Step outside my comfort zone. I'm building my supporting my business in the U.S. Thank you because I was building online. Had this voice over IP phones. How many of you remember Vonage, voice over voice over IP phones? Right, had one of those. And um, then um, the people will call me at 3 a.m. and I'll do three-way calls with my downline, and then I'll build in Malaysia. But we had, um, and then I stayed in uh, KL Central at uh, Swasana Central. And here is, and by the way, for those who are on here, let me just pull this video up here for you. It won't play. Let me see. Let's see. We got to play this video. It, ah, here it is. All right. It's a little tiny and it's a little blurry, okay? Uh, because this is back in 06 when they didn't, the, the camera phones weren't good. I think I used this cheap little digital camera, three megapixel camera. This is what I call like a virtual party, uh, not a virtual party, a uh, prospecting party we did, okay? Prospecting party we did where we got leaders, one of my American mentors who were up there. And what we do to create energy culture is from at night we work, we don't we don't stop. We Saturday, Sunday, you're going to relax, but we work up to the final bell, okay? Uh, Danny, that's a good question. Okay, uh, that's a very good question, Jenny. I'm gonna write that down. Uh, and that's a good lesson there to share. I would share a lesson how I got the number one podcast, first first person on the podcast. Okay, 
that is a very funny, uh, could be a fun lesson. For you. But uh, here is uh, Malaysia. And so we work, work, work. Afterwards, at 1 a.m., we'll go eat. But we work till midnight. Work, work, work. We don't have, and so one of the ways to get energy, and we talk about this as a consistency pill, okay? Um, the seven, by the way, I'm gonna give, you, give out one of these too. Print out PDF so you can print on your wall. I actually create the seven components. I'll be giving out, that'll be our next giveaway, all right, for you all, is, is uh, uh, accountability. Component number seven, accountability. And so it's just like if you meet a friend, a friend to the gym, chances you show up. If you go by yourself, you may not show up. So what we did, we always got people together. We show and prospect together. So here's a video. Uh, play this. And it's one minute long. And I had all my team members together, and we prospect together. Okay? Everyone together prospecting together. So here it is. <laughs> So what we do, hey, one way to train your team, right? It's like a job. Instead of like teaching them, you have them do it together with you. You need the prospect together. So I have two of my three of my two or three of my American leaders there. And uh I converted a nice apartment, four bedroom condo in the KL Central, and it was basically a MLM office. Okay. A living room, as you can see here, was for prospecting. Okay. Uh, we did meetings seven days a week, no breaks. Seven days a week. Uh, on IG, I'm sorry if you're on IG, you can see. Let me flip the camera here for you. Hopefully, oops, you can see right, you can see right here. Hold on. Hold on, IG. I, I got I to keep some IG love here. Right here, uh, we had a bedroom. And then we have, here's like a top leader, Steve Schwartz, my good friend, a mentor. Uh, he was prospecting. We have my leaders watching him prospect. And another leader of mine, Randy. So here it is. It's a little bit different from Malaysia, the plan. That's a, a bedroom. And this is the living room. So here's another room, a totally different room, where three other people are prospecting. And here's another room. This is, I think, the fourth bedroom. Someone else doing online prospecting there. Okay. Everyone is prospecting. Malaysia, baby. This is a team to be. Team Accelerate. I got it. I understand. Wow. So, hey, that's a little bit of uh, real life how the business is built. It was crazy. Ton of fun. Uh, I had so many great times. Whoops. So many great times in Malaysia out there. Uh, but figure hey, that was how we did it. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that little video there. Um, same thing I did in the Philippines, very similar. That is the real deal. And I tell you a lot of those prospects, most people did not join. Okay, we had some of the number top leaders there. A lot of most people did not join, but it's just staying consistent, building over and over and over again. All right, I'm gonna share uh something now. Um, uh, good story by Jenny. A uh, good question by Jenny was how did uh, ML Nation's podcast start? Okay, how did ML Nation podcast. That's a great story in terms of consistency. And uh, I'm going to hold on, stop the screen share. I'll show you some little pictures. Oh, you know what? How about this? Let's do another giveaway. You all cool with that? Let's do another giveaway. Let's make it fun. Um, let's get the, I just like this automatic generator. So drop in comments. We'll do comments up to one, two, two thousand. Okay, uh, we go on Instagram as well, and we'll go also go on Facebook. This time, what we're we giving away? Hey, we'll give one of these cheat sheets away. Okay, you can print it out seven components. By the way, writing about the book, if you get the book today, you get the free audio book and the free uh, workbook. And I know, I think some places the uh, book is sold out already. I think uh, we just hit, by the way, super excited about here. Check this out. Uh, check this out on Amazon. Share this with your teams. Okay, I just checked. 
Um, let's look, take a look at this. Look at, let's get up there. I appreciate you all too. I really appreciate you all. Okay. Uh, for multi-level marketing is number three. The Kindle is number three. The paperback is number four right now. Best-selling books on Amazon. Okay. I really appreciate you all for everyone who's gotten a copy here. Also, uh, I think in number one in internet marketing, number one, uh, number one in multi-level marketing now. That is pretty cool. Number one in multi-level marketing. That hey, I appreciate you. You know what? I gotta take a screenshot of this. And I'll share something with you. Oh, yo, yeah, I got to share this with you. The power. How many of you ever heard me talk about the movie? Okay, the movie. Hold on. There we go. Number one. I'm done. Hey, I, I appreciate it. This is the movie. I think I'll share something about very vulnerable. Um, I was I wrote this book a long time ago. And how many of you have fear of success? Fear of success. Like worried about what other think, right? Fear of success. I definitely had, I think I have fear of success more than fear of failure. Fear of success is way definitely more than fear of, fear of failure. I remember when I first became a full time leader, hit the rank of gold, gold director. And I'm like, oh my, what happens? I do this. I got to speak on stage. I got to appear on company stage conventions, right? You got to visualize your best self. Visualize who you are, the best self. And let me share something with you, okay? Um, and this is something I want all of you to do. So if you're done coaching with me, I've talked about this. If you're on purpose, you're in that room because I talk about this. We always act consistent to how you see yourself. Okay? You always act consistent to how you see yourself. And it's so important to visualize. So I'm going to pull this up. And I'm sharing something very personal right now to you all. Okay? Um, let me see this right here. Let me pull this up for you. Let me pull it up. It's a little loading, a little slow. Okay, here it is. I did this on my to daily to do list. I always plan my day out. Okay, uh, let's see if you pull this, pull this up here, pop up my daily to do list. Power visual. I highly believe in power visualization. I did this for the podcast. I did so. Overcoming the success of visualize yourself being successful. See yourself being successful. See yourself as the person you want to join. All right? See yourself. And for those on, Amazon, on, uh, on uh, Instagram, I'll pull, pull this back up here for you here uh, to see. Right? And then, by the way, if you want a better experience for those on Instagram, catch on Facebook Live. Just, I plan out my day every day. And three months ago, I was like, you know what? I got to do what I teach my uh, people I coach to do. Right. When I coach you, I talk about visualization. So this book, I got to visualize. I went there at that day. Uh, this was back in February or March. I went to Amazon and I actually took this. You see this? And I bet I put number one consistency pill on there. I put it there. And I just visualized it every day. And when I woke up, I visualized it. OK, uh, I also do uh, uh, Evernote. If you look at Evernote, my Evernote here. This is all my this is all my dream boarding, right? My dream board, I like my goals, all that stuff, all the images, my all those things, my successes that make me happy. Right on one of them, right there. Every day I look at this movie was consistently built, ranked number one. And I've been looking at this every day in the morning for the last three months. Okay. It is so important. To do this, everyone. I'm not, I even joke. This is probably 95% of success. Where to overcome your fear of success, you got to see it and then you got to believe it. And I play the same song. I talk about, and thank you, Nita, for congratulations. I talk about this in the, uh, in the, where uh, component number four, choose your environment. Choosing your environment. Your environment is very important. And environment is also meaning the music. Music plays a big part, right? Every time I listen to AC, I'm like nervous. I listen to ACDC on the throat. I'm like fired up. Every time I look at a movie, I have the chariots of fire. And, and that chariots of fire gives me the goosebumps. Okay. Uh, Cheryl, there is a link to go to get the workbook. Go to, um, and you get a free workbook. Or even go to consistencypill.com. You go there right now, get it today. You get the audiobook and workbook for free. Okay. But movie, every day I play that song, I look at the movie. Okay? And uh, it's a big part of a success. Yeah, Carmen is a big part. Is 
Uh, you know, your, your fears, I have fears as well. I fear success, fear failure. But it's over learning that just like you're visualizing, a lot of times we visualize a failure, you got to visualize success. All right? It's the same thing. You Most of us visualize failure, visualize success. All right? And that's what I did. So it is pretty cool right now. Uh, this, by the way, wasn't number one uh, early today. But just hit number one here. So it's number one in three categories right now, which is pretty, uh, pretty, I'm excited. I'm, thank you all. That's what I can say. I'm a little teary eyed. I'm taking screenshots because, uh, you know, guess what I'm showing? I'm showing to my mom. I got to show my mom. Okay. She's going to be very proud. Let me take these three screenshots. And by the way, this is something I want you all to do. Every time you have success, sometimes success, save it. Save it in the folder, digital folder. I save it on the digital folder. Okay. Let's see this right now. Okay. And I want to, and you know what? But the dis it may not last. It may, it may not last, state number one, but. It will, but I remember I did it once, right? And the Amazon stuff is tough. It, it keeps changing every hour, every day, it keeps changing. But for a certain time period for today, I hit it. And hopefully you can stay there. But so any type of success you have, right? Whether it's hitting your rank advancements, make sure you go and save that, save that in your notebook, that patch somewhere. All right, gifts. Let's go, go, go to freebies. Um, here we go. Consistency, this is a cheat sheet. You can get it. It's a seven components. We talked about that. Uh, let's go to, for uh, Instagram. Our winner on Instagram for a cheat sheet. Uh, let me write this down. It is, and we have a little less comments on here. Here we go. Hey, drop comment more. You can get a freebie right now. Oh, 200. So this is the uh, LM, seven components, number 200. And for Facebook here, freebies. Number 529, congrats. Okay, you can get one of these. You can print out. This is like a summary of the book, seven components. All right, let's go to, uh, we're going to give out more gift cards coming up, right? In another five minutes. Let me share. Like, by the way, this party is supposed to last an hour. It's gone by so fast. Yes, uh, you know what? I'll post the link for those who want to purchase. Yes, 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 I will do that. Uh, and by the way, this is a pretty decent party. It's the first time we've done a party. We're going to have another one. If you can't miss it, we're going to have another one. More prizes at 3 p.m. Eastern later today. All right, 3 p.m. Eastern. So let's, uh, Jenny, uh, Jenny, you, know, you wanted to learn about the, uh, you wanted to learn about the, uh, how I start, how do I get guests on to MLM Nation in the beginning? That's an excellent question. Okay, so let me, hey, we got to get the music. Hey, who wants to tune? Music you want. To hear, uh, let's see, choose a song. What song? Anyone, hey, first person types in, gets the music, you, the song you want. Here we go. Five seconds, four, three. Yes, please share that, Carmen. Please, I would really appreciate it if you, uh, if you uh, share the link. Okay, yes, we got a celebration by Pammy Ter uh, Terry. Here we go. That's a good song. <laughs> Oh, Joe, just play Amaga. Cool in the gang, too. Here we go. All right. So how did the podcast start? The podcast was an idea, basically. When I first started coaching, uh, I had some challenges, and I decided to start a podcast. I share something about creativity. There's nothing really original out there. Every idea, everything you see out there was a, is a copy of something. Copy and a little twist of something. Okay, copy and a little twist. So what I mean by that is uh, the iPhone was was not original. Uh, there was a phone before the iPhone, right? The first Mac was different. But by, by before the iPhone, there was a handspring trio, the Palm Pilot. There's oh, every product that you think is original always had another product or similar. And creativity is basically learning to copy a little bit here, copy a little here, copy here, copy here, copy there, copy there. Copy there. And then over time, you develop your own style. All right, that is something you have to send people. Like, I have to be all totally original. No one's totally original. There's no such thing as totally original. It's always a copy here, copy there, and then you develop your own style. So learn from that. So when I started ML Nation, I listened to a lot of business podcasts over the years. I've been listening to podcasts for a long, long time. I felt, felt that there's no one, there's no one who did something like this for um, network marketing. So, but there's so much stuff on YouTube out there, right? What's well, a lot of, I don't know if it's good, it's junk, whatever. But I figured 
Hey, what happens if I vetted the leaders and then I'm going to choose? That would be pretty cool, right? I'm going to choose and find out who, who, what's actually good and what's actually not good. And I'll interview the leaders and I'll uh, have something like that. So that's how the ML Nation started. Actually, I was on a trip to Australia. Any Australians in the house here, down under right now, you're watching? I had an idea on the plane there. I'm going to do this podcast, all right? And I actually originally got the inspiration from a mastermind I joined. And that's why it's so important to invest in yourself. When I first started coaching, uh, it was way, way, way harder than network marketing. Do you ever think about I'm going to do a coaching business? It's way, 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 way harder. There's so many coaches that did coaches and that went back to uh, do network marketing. So when I first started that, um, I was struggling. But I, I was so sick and being stuck in the same place that I invested in the coaching. And it was actually, at that time, very, very expensive. It was $20,000. Okay, I didn't have the money. Uh, because I still, and the only thing that saved me, thank goodness, my residual income from my network marketing business was paying my mortgage uh, for my house, paying my rent, paying my expenses, you know, for my stuff, for my kids. So grateful for network marketing. And, but I invested in myself. Uh, and that 20 grand uh, wasn't that great. I met some people, but wasn't like oh, life changing. I decided, but what it did do is it helped me actually from losing money in coaching, actually breaking even. So I said, well, it, I got a little bit of money back from it. Let me go do it again, right? Let me go and uh, renew again. And it was the second year that really, really inspired me. The second year was when everything came on for the idea for the podcast, right? So that's why you never know what's going to be a winning, what's not going to be winning. Second time, that was when the, I got the idea for the podcast. And uh, that's how it happened. So when I first started the podcast, no one was, uh, no one, no leader. I don't want to just be my company. I want it to be other, others, right? Other leaders. No leaders are busy. They're not going to like, oh, they didn't know who I was. Like, who's Simon Chan? Why should I invest in, in doing this? By the way, the average, and I saw a podcast. You're like, what's a podcast? A lot of times, this is back in 2014. Most people didn't know what podcast was. It's like, what's a podcast? I don't want to do this. Oh, what, what is this? So I was like, uh, I got to get leaders on here. Right. So how do I convince them? So number one was I will follow up my crazy fault because back then, back then I looked like this. Okay. I, I looked like this. Like, Who the heck is this Simon Chen guy? There's no haircut. Okay. Who is this person like this? Who is this person? Right. And then no, no one's going to do a podcast interview with uh, a rock star like this. So he, I was like, oh, what should I do? And uh, I just followed up with people. I found a top leaders and follow up, follow up, follow up, follow up. And in fact, I'll share with you. My first episode, which I'm always super grateful for, was Danny Johnson. I wanted to have a female on there. I wanted Danny Johnson to be up there. And uh, if you didn't know who Simon Chan was, to Simon Chan, to them, Simon Chan looked like this. So I called this Danny and said, hey, by the way, if you never watched this episode, it's Emma Nation uh, in the archive. We actually so many episodes. We actually had to start two of them, okay? I don't know how people actually have long hair do this. You actually have to go like this, to keep it in here, or they just wear a hat. I don't know. So I, I look like the guy from uh, what Saturday Night. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Wayne's World, I guess. All right. So uh, I'm dating myself. Saturday Night Live. Anyway, so um, I went to. I said I want to have Danny Johnson on the show. So I reached out to a recorder. No one replied back to me. So I wanted. I reached out to customer service. Like, what the heck is Simon Jan? We don't care about you, right? Who, who are you? ML Nation, we never heard of you. So I said, what's the best way to meet someone? What's the best way to meet someone? Uh, best way to meet someone? Uh, my buyers, yes. Who's the best way to meet someone? Best way to meet someone is go to the event. I'm going to go to the event. She's going to speak at the event, and I'm going to go bum rush her. She's going to speak, and I'm going to go up to her and talk to her. That's what I'm going to do. So I went there, and um, I'll go to the event, right? I go to the event. I spent $2,000 to go to the event. Uh, the hotels were really expensive. It was in Austin. I think it was at Hyatt at Austin. This was in January 2015. She had an event there, and I went there, and uh, I'm going to go talk to her. After she dug the stage, I'm going to go talk to her. So I go there, and I, I, I ask people, hey, I need to – I have a question for Danny. Um, and she's like, uh, yeah, you can ask her during the Q&A session. I said, like, no, no, this is like a business question, not like a typical question. Oh, uh, maybe, I don't know. Maybe you can talk to her. People just give me, they, the staff didn't even know, right? So they said, maybe you can talk to a right-hand woman, Jennifer, and maybe she can help you out. 
So the whole rest of the time, I'm with Jennifer, with Jennifer. I couldn't find Jennifer. So, all right, I'm going to just go to the event tomorrow. I have VIP seats, by the way. I, the reason cost $700, $2,000. Flights, hotel. I bought, I think the VIP ticket was like $900, $1,000. I'm going to go there. And I remember going to the plane there, have a fear of success, fail. I was like, hey, I better make this happen. I'm going to just to get her on my show, number one show, right? So I go there, and uh, the next day, I'm, I'm going to show up early at 8 o'clock, right? And when I went to register, I was like, oh, my goodness. There are people who camp out there overnight just to get good tickets. I was like, what? So I show up at 8 o'clock. I still be early, right? The, the line wasn't that long. There was maybe 50 people there camping out. Camping out, sleeping there in the sleeping bag to sit in the front row. I go there at uh, 8 a.m. And the line was around the corner out to out of the hotel to the street. I'm like, what? I have, I have VIP seats, though. I go to, I finally get in there. The VIP seats was somehow like 75%, three-fourths of the were VIP. I got there. I'm my VIP means I'm the, I'm in the back of the room. I'm the, I'm, the only difference was I'm in the back of the room instead of the last line, the last row of the room. I'm like, oh, I can't even see her. I'm like, oh, my goodness. I still remember the person sitting next, next to me. I'm like, Talking, like, I'm here to learn. I'm like, I'm gonna talk to Danny, I gotta get her on my podcast. And I'm like, sitting in the back, like, and then right after she speaks, there's like security got escorts out. Like, there's no way I'm gonna run there, right? So then the second plan was, uh, I'm gonna go and be the right hand woman. And I found out who the right hand woman was. And once I found out, she was in the back, who was selling some books and stuff. Uh, I basically stalked her. I have no shame, I stalked her, and I'm waiting for her. I don't bother her when she's doing her work. And then she went, got up. To use the toilet, the bathroom. So I followed her. Yes, I followed her. I, I didn't follow her in. I followed her and stood outside patiently. Waited outside. Waited, waited, waited. After she was done her with the business, she came out. I hey, well, hey, I'm here. I'm Simon. I emailed you and uh, uh, I want to have Danny Johnson on my show. And I showed her. And by the way, you have to sell yourself. I actually had a website, an MLM Nation website, all created with all the guests there. So it will be like this. I have my podcast, my pictures. Hey. That we're, we're going to be the number one podcast. And actually, I, I, I'm excited to feature on the show. And I have a picture all on the website. Now, the website was all, it's just a mock template. It wasn't like a real website. But as I have the top 10 leaders like Big Al Schreider, you know, Randy Gage, all these legends, Ray Hayden, all these legends out there on there showing up. Hey, you're going to be on my website. And I have, I'll tell you, you don't need, and this is a mistake that uh, a lot of people make, is that you feel like you need to have results to become successful. You don't need results. You need conviction and confidence in selling a vision. You don't need results. You need vision. Everyone type in a comment, vision. You need vision. I show my vision. Hey, this is how you're going to look. Like. This is the website. You're going to be number one on the show. Selling, that's what I did. Most people just said no, but she was like, oh, okay. I actually had a show. You know the, the music when you play the podcast? That was done. I was like, this is how the show's going to sound like. I played it. Even though this is like four months before even one episode came out. But I show show that to her. And she's like, okay, maybe I'll keep in touch with you on email. So we email back and forth. I've emailed following up, following up, following up, following up, following up, following up. Following up. And then I was like, oh. and finally, one day, okay, one day, she messaged me back and said, okay, uh, Danny can do it. I was like, yes, I did it. And But she only do it on this day at this hour because she only works five hours a week. Oh, she only works five hours a week. On this day, on this day. And I looked at the calendar. You know what? It is about, it was the worst day. I was in Vancouver. I was, that was the day I was in Vancouver for the holiday, uh, for Chinese New Year in February 2015. And, you know, I got to stay with my in laws at bad internet. So, anyway, long story short, I'm not going to say no. Leaders got to show up. And I, went, I showed up, and the re- way I recorded the first episode of ML Nation was I was in my father-in-law's car. The internet was bad. I used this hotspot on this Android phone. I had a I had like a laptop there with my mic and took a whole bunch of pillows around us with an echo. It was only 40 degrees, which was, it was like five degrees Celsius, freezing in there, and I'm interviewing Dan Johnson. That's how the first episode happened. Hey, it's about consistency and persistence, selling the vision. So that is how uh, it happened. Okay. Now, later on... Um, Still, once I got that show on there. Hey, you enjoyed the story? Let's do it. Hey, 
Why do you tell me you enjoy story drops in comments? Let me know on scale one to ten what that story did it motivate you? Did it like well, bore you? And we are gonna do another drawing. How about for gift cards? Here we go. Let's do a gift card. Let's do this gift card. Uh let's do gift card. Gift card, gift card. Okay, iTunes gift card here. And we're gonna do the so I put in more comments. The more comments you have, the greater chance you have to win. So we do one of these iTunes gift cards here. We still got a lot of these to give out. Okay, here we go. iTunes gift cards. We do one for those on Instagram and one of those on, on Facebook. Here we go. Lucky winner. Common number 2789. Gift card 2789. And then on Facebook, uh, on Instagram. So less of you there. Number 173. All right. So congrats to those winners. I'll give them 24 hours. I'll, I'll choose the comments and I will uh, choose the winners. All right. So let's see. Um, well, I'll get you back to the podcast. I'm going to take this off. Oh, every time I do this, like it comes off. My place is like, oh, here, here. Okay. Um, that, these, by the way, these are blue... Blue ray, uh, what blue light blockers that block out blue light. So if you ever want to sleep well, you wear these before you go to bed and you work and actually naturally put you to sleep. So now I'm about to fall asleep. Yeah. All right. Hey, you know what? We got a song. Uh, Jenny, Jenny, I'm quest. You wanted we are the champions. You all are the champions. You all are champions. All right. Here we go. Um. Can you share one of the most memorable interviews? Oh, yes, I'll share that. But let me share something else with you. When I still uh, started the show, most people didn't, uh, would not, would not uh, do the podcast with me. Okay, it was about consistent follow, -up, consistent follow, -up. and uh, it's a consistent follow. -up. I remember the one time I followed with this guy Calvin, Calvin Becerra, and it took me seven, to eight months to finally get him. And uh, he, the first thing he said to me was, "Hey, Simon." And I'll follow with him every two weeks. And like seven months later, he's like, Simon, I don't even know who you are. I don't know you. I don't even know your background. But all I know is that you follow up consistently, so you must be very successful. That was like one of the best advice I want to share with you. Okay? They're very, you follow up, successful people will respect you. Now, the people who are not successful, they're like, oh, you're annoying, whatever. People are consistent and persistent. Successful people impress people are consistent and persistent. Okay? Uh yeah, I would think the podcast would never sh where by the where's Obi? Obi is sleeping. Thank goodness he's still sleeping. Otherwise, I wouldn't be having uh, he'd be barking. I'll be worried about him peeing and pooping. Thank goodness Obi's he's sleeping. Don't think so. Yes, it's cons the successful people appreciate consistent follow-up. I'll share one more story. I think a lot of good, you know. Um Fraser Brooks, Fraser Brooks, a lot of you know about Fraser Brooks, right? I connected with him. And by the way, he always talks. He recently shared how my uh, podcast inspired him to be a coach. It was one of the biggest compliments. My podcast inspired him. And the reason I connected with him was I followed with his father for like maybe seven, eight months, a year. I was saying happy birthday on his birthday. And then he was, and Frazier and Simon, his father, Simon, his also Simon, was there. And Simon said, hey, I don't even know who this guy is. This is weird Simon Shango, but he keeps singing happy birthday to me on my Facebook. Is he any good? And then him and Frazier, well, if he keeps persistent, keep nagging, keep asking you, he must be decent. And that's how I connected with him. Okay. Successful people appreciate follow-up. You keep following up. Don't worry about people. Just stop annoying me. Stop. That's people are not successful. They don't think like that. You know what? Actually, when people ask me, like, I'll share something with you. When people are um, ask me, uh, like, to do stuff, one of the first things I tell them, hey, I'm really busy with a, my current project right now. I, someone just asked me last week, can you do something? I'm like, you know what? I'm really busy with my book launch uh, and I, I've, for the rest of 2022. Follow up me in December, and I, at that time, I'll have, better, I'll have more time. That's why I say, right? And uh, so it's kind of a nice way. I say, no, I'm not interested. I really wanted to tell them, no, I'm not interested. I just say, hey, I'm not interested. I'm really busy right now. Follow up me six months, and I'll take a look at it. And... Uh, 95% of people never follow up, never follow up. And that tells you why they're not successful. And if they don't follow up, I immediately don't respect that person. Okay. Because that person can't be that successful. Either two, two things, that person is not that successful or I'm not important to that person. That person forgot about me. They're not following up with me. 
and just show you how successful people think. All right. All right. Hey, we got like five more minutes left here. Um, I can't believe the party's over, almost over. And the gold is up. Sing happy birthday to people. I share that in the book. It's so important. Sing happy birthday. Okay. It's, it's a big uh, game changer. Now, we got uh, some prizes to give out. I think there was another question from Instagram. It was a really good question here that I saw. Uh, did you ever think the podcast was never going to take off? Never. I never thought that. Okay. Because it's all about the movie. I visualized it. You got to act like everything's successful. Right? If you actually think that it may not take off, it will not take off. Okay. And that's why I love baseball so much. I tell my boys, if you feel that's not going to work, if you think you're going to strike out, you're 100% going to be an out. If you think negative, you're 100 Now, thinking positive does not guarantee success, but thinking negative guarantees you failure. And you write that book. That's always going to be true. Okay. Favorite, um, a favorite interview, most memorable interview, and why? Um, and we got a couple minutes left. Okay. Then I have to go by, I have to make breakfast for the boys um, and take them to school. Do I, what's one of the most memorable interviews? I think the most memorable interview, that's a good question. Uh, and it appears, you see, there's something about personal development, right? Is some books, is about what time of life you uh, encountered that. So so um, I remember if I read Thinking Group, uh, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, Changed My Life, top three books that changed my life. If I read Rich Dad, Poor Dad now, knowing what I know, I'd be like, oh, this book is so lame, it's so basic, boring. How to win friends and influence people. Huge. Now, read it now. It's common sense, right? But those are two classics you have to. Um, you know the story? My song, Common. This is a story. Chariots of Fire. When I play my movie, that's why I actually don't like to play this song. Uh, we will play this other song. I don't like to play. By the way, when you choose one song, I only play that song when I do it for a certain event. If I like Thunderstruck, ACDC, I only play before I speak. Because when you play for different things, it messes up the anchoring, right? So when I play that Chariots of Fire, I just play it because uh, you asked for it. Uh, that's my song. I, I only do it when I look at a movie and visualize. If I'm not visualizing it, it messes me up, right? So when I play that song, I immediately sees the picture. Uh, also, the uh, like I listen to Wu-Tang Clan, lifting weights. I listen to Wu-Tang Clan. That, if I don't listen for, for anything else. Only for when I, I want to work out. The... But Danielle, the Kindle version titles you the free audiobook and free audiobook. Yes, absolutely. Go get the Kindle version. You get an audiobook and a workbook for free. Go to consistencypill.com. Okay. And Kindle is only 99 cents, but that expires. It's going to change very quickly. Um, another one is what's your favorite chapter in the book? I think that's the last question I'll take. Okay. Uh, what is the favorite chapter in the book? That's a good question. My favorite chapter. Oh, I know the favorite chapter. So, so many good chapters here. Uh, favorite chapter is towards the end, the angel and the devil. Okay, I, I think you know what? Uh, what is the name of that chapter? It's to, it's to the last chapter. Okay, is winning the daily war. Okay, that you know what? That's a good give it a question, Terry. I think that's going I'm gonna end the party on this one. Okay, winning the daily war. You have to, you know, being consistent, challenges, and all that. We all have that. You really have to, and I'm going to um, turn the music down a little bit. Here. It's you have to be vigilant. You you can't be like, oh, I'm going to live the day and let's go. Let's see what happens. No. You basically have to, you have to be bold and needed. Talk about bold and courage. Success favors us on bold and courage. I was not one bold and courage. I visualized. I said, I'm going to be that leader, right? Just like a visualist, I'm going to be hit number one. I'm going to vision. I'm going to do this. I'm going to, you visualize yourself being there. And you can't visualize, if you visualize negativity, guarantee you're not going to make it. Visualize positivity, doesn't mean you'll make it, but it actually puts you on the right track. So winning the daily war is like, you have to visualize and winning the day, right? You got to win the day. You can't say, oh, tomorrow I'm going to see what happens. No, if you see what happens, you can get your butt kicked and lose that day. Right. I know what I do. When I woke up today, I a whole certain amount of things I got to do. I think I mean, I'm going to win today. And I call it angel of the devil. The angels are the ones that, hey, you can do it. Teresa, you can do it. Terry, you got it. Mary Kay, you got it. Joe, God, good. Danielle, you're awesome. You're good. That's the angel in us. Right? We all have that. Maybe I inspired the angel in you right now. The devil is like, Danielle, you've failed so many times. What do you know? Look at your followers. No one's engaging. 
Terry, look at what you're doing. How many years have you been in this business? Mike, come on. What are you? You can't even get on the website. What are you? Right? I'm just kidding. There's a negativity. The devil's like, you can't do this. You can't do this. Every day is a fight. Or, hey, you got life going on. You got to take it. You got to wake up every day and say, hey, I'm going to win. It's like a war. And I'm not saying uh, I totally respect the people really fighting a war. But this is like a mental warfare. You can say, hey, I'm going to win this war. I'm going to win this battle. I'm going to win the war. And there'll be times, there'll be times when you get sidetracked and the devil wins. You may lose that battle. You may say, oh, I wasted the entire morning doing nothing. I wasted the entire morning surfing on TikTok, just watching, but didn't do anything. But hey, you lost that battle, but go win that war. Go and do something. Do something. Immediately change direction. Do something. Maybe you have a long day at work. You sit there. You're vegging out watching TV and Netflix. And, oh, I wasted two hours. Hey, you lost that battle. But go win that war. Go do something. And every day, that's what I say to myself. Okay, I got to win that war. I may lose a battle or two, but I'm going to win that war. I'm going to stay focused. And unless you have that determination, hey, this is serious. This is like a war. You got to go fight that. It's, it's hard. It's hard. It's hard to stay consistent. It's one of the things that will sidetrack you. So the hardest battle is the battle in your own mind. Absolutely. You win that war. So anyway, that is it. Time is up. Uh, ton of fun. Hey, we let's tag someone in this video right now. And let's do one more giveaway. How's that? Tag someone and we'll do some giveaway. We'll give away. We have we, we even talk about this in the book. We have the rejection killer. If you have re, just 10 steps to rejection killer. 10 steps to rejection. I'm gonna give these I'm actually create these PDFs for you. I'm gonna give three of these away. All right. Type in, drop in the comments. Let's get the comment thing on here. And uh And I'm putting some music here. Last one. Here we go on Instagram. The rejection killer. Number 192. I'm going to write this down. And we got number 203. And 218. There we go. I'll send you out this uh, rejection killer. And for those on watching on social uh, on Facebook, YouTube, here we go. Comment 2537. We also got 2245. And 2695. And for those who are watching on Instagram too, okay, I'll count it. Also, make sure you D send me a DM as well on Instagram. Okay, so I got your name. Joey, send me a DM. Okay, Mary Kay, send me a DM. Nita, send me a DM as well. All right, everyone. Hey, that's the party. I'm going to take a little break here. Got to take a – I'm going to have more prizes, more gift cards. A lot of these still got a lot of these gift cards, a lot of whole bunch of these iTunes gift cards. So you get these tools to give out. Come show up at 3 p.m. today. And also at 10 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m., 10 p.m., tag some of your friends, some of them out in Asia, Philippines, my friend Australia, you can 10 to 1 at uh, 10 p.m., which is 10 a.m. your time. Hey, hope you enjoy the party. Drop a comment, let me know how you do. Have an awesome day. Don't forget to claim your bonus. Share this with consistencypill.com. Lynn, good to see you here. I didn't know you were on, Lynn. Appreciate you all. See you all back at 3 p.m. for our next party. And tag someone. Hey, God bless you all. I appreciate you all following me. And, uh, let me know how you like the consistency pill. All right. It's some, I know the book again is some, I think some places out of stock with del delay shipping because it's the mass amount of orders. Uh, but go get it. You can pre order it or why not pre order it? Get ordered and you get the free audio book. You can actually start listening to the audio book and start working through the workbook. All right. Well, God bless. And uh, see you all back at the next session, 3 p.m. Have a great day.